I'm Sin with the Osin Dojo. And in this video, we're going to cover a few different options for investigating private Twitter accounts. When investigating on Twitter, you may run across a private account that you want to learn more information about. In most scenarios, you want to do this covertly, and so sending the target a follow request is likely not an option. Now, regardless of what those sketchy apps and websites might claim, there is absolutely no way to directly view private tweets without having the account accept your follow request first. That being said, there are a few ways we can infer information about a private account or view tweets that were previously public. For our demonstration, we're going to use my personal Twitter account, which was previously public, but I have now made private. The first thing I look at when investigating a private Twitter account is what other accounts are tweeting to my target. There are two primary Twitter search functions you can use, either at and your target username, or to colon and your target username. I recommend running them both, as I sometimes have slightly different options on the top tab, as you can see here. The latest tab, however, appears to remain consistent across the two. I typically go through all of these tabs for both search functions to make sure I don't miss anything of investigative value. While we cannot see what our target account tweets, these tweets to our target account may provide additional insight into our target and give us a partial, though one-sided, view into some of their conversations. We can also pivot off of these accounts to see if they're following our target, or perhaps run some analysis to see which accounts tweet to our target the most. The next thing we can do is look for cached or archived results for our target profile. Keep in mind that this will only work in scenarios where our account was previously public and either scraped by an archiving platform or search engine. In most cases, this is going to be more effective for larger accounts that have been established for a longer period of time, but it is always worth checking. Google is a good start. You can search site colon twitter.com slash and then your target username to find cache results. Now, if we click on any of these, it's going to open up in Twitter and we won't be able to view the tweets directly since the account is currently private. However, when Google crawled this profile back when it was still public, it did capture a portion of the tweets, which we can see here. Another thing you might notice are the different display names that the target account used over the different times their profile was crawled by Google. For example, you can see here when my Twitter display name was previously Sin, but also when it was my DevCon Social or my InfoSec Exchange username. These different snapshots in time may provide you new display names other than the one currently on your target account. Other archive sites like archive.org or archive.today may also contain archived versions of your target profile if it was previously public. We can choose a snapshot and then view tweets from that time period. The downside here is that Twitter now tends to prompt for an account in order to view profiles. And so some of these snapshots are actually just a Twitter login screen and not any usable data. For this reason, you may need to check multiple snapshots, especially those that are less recent. If your target account does have captures, it is also worth noting the dates of them as it might give additional insight into how long the account was public before being locked down by the user. These are some of my go-to techniques when I'm tasked with investigating a private Twitter account. If you have other techniques for investigating these accounts that maybe I missed, please let me know in the comments below.